एवरीवन गेव सेन दिस साइड सो टुडे हैंड वी आर डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक कॉल्ड एज एनिमल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द टॉपिक एज इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन ओके सो लेट गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर इन बायोलॉजी द इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन इज अ कॉमन ऑर्गन टू ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक फिशेस द इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन इज अ कॉमन ऑर्गन टू ऑल इलेक्ट्रिक फिशेस यूज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड यूज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ओके नाउ द इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द मोडिफाइड नर्व और द मसल टिश्यू प्लीज डू रिमेंबर दैट लाइक द इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन आर मोडिफाइड नर्व इधर दे आर द मोडिफाइड नर्व और दे आर द मोडिफाइड मसल टिश्यू ओके डील विथ एंड द इलेक्ट्रिक डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम द ऑर्गन इज यूज फॉर द नेविगेशन either for the navigation or for the communication or for the mating or defense and also sometimes for the incapacitation of prey which means if they want to eat the prey they'll be just uh, they'll be just giving a shot of the electric impulse to the prey so the uh, the prey will be immobilized for a short period of the time and they'll attack on the prey so how many functions of the electric organ are there it is for the navigation it is used for the communication for the mating as well for the defense purpose and for incapacitation of prey so now let's deal with the diagram of the electric organ so this is like what i'll be going through that uh, these are the electrocytes here that the electric ray that is called the torpedo it's showing location of the electric organ and the electrocytes which are stacked so here you can observe that the stacks of the electrocytes are present here these are the stacks of the electrocytes and we'll be calling them as the electric cells we'll be calling them as the electric cells now dealing with the evolution of the electric organ or how they came into existence so basically they have evolved at least six times they have evolved at least six times in various teleost and elasmo branches teleost and the elasmo branches hopefully you do know but still for the time, for the sake of knowledge only i'm giving you the teleost are the bony fishes whereas the elasmo branches are the cartilaginous fishes okay deal with and they have convergently evolved in the african mormyridi and south american gymnotidi okay african mormyridi and the south american gymnotidi now what is a convergent evolution so basically these are the organs which do not have the common origin or the common ancestor but still they are performing the same function okay so deal with these are of african mormyridi or the south american gymnotidi are the electric fish group okay deal with and these two groups are distantly related with each other because they are sharing a common ancestor before the supercontinent gondwana is splitted into american and the african continents hopefully you do know that the gondwana was a supercontinent which has been split it into two called as american continent and the african continent okay deal with now a whole genome if i'll be dealing with a whole genome duplication event in the teleost lineage allowed for the neo functionalization of the voltage gated sodium channel gene i repeat a whole genome duplication event in the groups which has been allowed for the neo functionalization of the voltage gated sodium channel voltage gated sodium channel the gene's name is scn4aa the gene's name is scn4aa which produces the electric discharge or rather we call it as electric impulse now electrocytes so basically the electrocytes or the electroplaques or the electroplexes are the cells which are used by the electric eel electric ray and the other fishes as well for electrogenesis for electrogenesis which means synthesis or the formation of the electricity and in some species they are cigar shaped in some species they are cigar shaped in other they are flat disc like cells so basically the electric eels have several thousands of the cells called as electrocytes which are staked on each other and they produce 0.15 volt each and every one of the electrocyte is producing 0.15 volt <clears throat> these cells function by pumping positive sodium ion and potassium ions 
out of the cell via transport protein which is powered by ATP that is called as adenosine triphosphate. So how come the electricity is getting generated? It is getting generated with the help of the pump of sodium and potassium. Okay, deal with. And the electrocytes are working just like the muscle cell. The electrocytes are working just like the muscle cells. They have nicotonic acetylcholine receptor. Despite the sharing of the origin of skeletal muscle and the electrocytes are in myogenic electric organ. They are in myogenic electric organ. The electric organ and the skeletal muscle remain distinct in the morphology and the physiology. So nowadays, the electric organs have parted their ways and now they are very much different as compared to the morphological character as well and as compared to the physiological characters as well as compared with the skeletal muscle fibers. So deal with. Now, some key ways in which these cells are differing including the size and the lack of any contractible machinery on the parts of the electrocytes. So basically the most important function of the muscular cell or the muscular tissue is contraction and the relaxation. So here they have different size as well which means like the electro electrocytes are larger as compared to the mus muscular cells and they lack any contractible machinery on the part of the electrocyte which is responsibly I will be calling as actin and the myosin interaction. So electrocytes are on in as compared with the size as comparing with the size the electrocytes are larger than the muscle fibers but still if you are dealing with the contraction and the relaxation or rather what we call as a contractible machinery the electrocytes do not show any contractible machinery or the contraction or the relaxation or the involvement of the active involvement of the actin and the myosin. The stack of the electrocyte has long been compared to a voltaic pile and may even have inspired the invention of the battery since the analogy was already noted by Alessandro Volta. It was Alessandro Volta. Okay, He is the one who has discovered this. Now, Basically like the, like the electric animal electricity has been uh, discovered by the Galvani but still like Volta has also contributed a lot into the field. Now electric organ discharge. It is the electric field generated by the organ of the animal including the electric fish. Whatever the electricity the organism is producing and like around, around that organism's body the field which has been generated will be called as electric organ discharge. And in some cases the electric discharge is strong. And it is used for the protection from the predator. And in some other cases it is weak. And it is used for navigation and communication. It is used for, if it is strong it is used for the protection. That is what we call as a defense. And if it is weak, that is used for navigation and communication. So the weak electric fishes, electric organ is discharging. Can be broadly categorized as wave type or pulse type. Wave type or pulse type. In case of the wave type, the periodic quasi sinusoidal while in case of the pulse type, they are highly variable in the duration with longer pause intervals. Which means in case of the wave, they will be showing like the zigzag lines, periodic quasi sinusoidal whereas in case of the pulse, they are highly variable in the duration having the long pause interval. Okay, deal with. Now, communicating through the electric organ discharge occurs when a fish uses its own electroreceptor to sense the electric signals of a nearby fish. So the electric fish navigate by detecting distortions in their electric field by using their cutaneous electroreceptors. By using their cutaneous electroreceptors and basically the electric organ discharges influence the mate choice in the weakly electric fish. So here again that the electric fishes navigate by detecting the distortion in the electric field by using their cutaneous electroreceptors. So yes the electroreceptors are present on their, cuta on their outer skin that is what we call as the cutaneous electroreceptors. Okay. So ultimately this is, the this is one of the mode of the communication in them. Electric organ discharges influence mate choice in the weakly electric fishes as well and here as the females have been shown to be attracted to the electric discharge from the male. So ultimately this may, this may like uh, produce a light onto the topic about like that yes, electric 
discharge may also plays an important role in case of the fishes only for the mating purpose as well for attraction of the female towards the males so we can deal with these things as well okay done hopefully this lecture has been beneficial for you guys thank you thank you very much for your so much support thank you